she was gone, you'd started. And within a week, you pushed me to breaking point. You've let me down. And that is the worst thing. Because I didn't think you would do that, either of you. Yes. What? Look, my daughter is sat right here in front of me. So if it was Peter. Listen, I don't have the time nor the patience to deal with this sort of thing right now. So if you want to make a private appointment, I suggest you ring my office. What? Sophie, what time do you call this, hey? Sophie! Sophie! Listen, Peter, I know you're 18 and you've got it all to prove. But if you want to be a man, this is not the way to do it. If you want to be a man, you have to stand by your family, me and your sister, and face up to what's asked of you. Peter, if not for me, then for your mother. It's what she would have wanted. And that means not staying out till late, not throwing your education away, and not setting a general bad example to your sister. Now, I know you are not a coward, so please stop behaving like one and start communicating with me. I've done nothing wrong. And if you'd stop and look for one second, you'd see. But all you ever see is the bad. Please, Dad. Look around you. Peter, you didn't come home last night. After everything I've said, where have you been? I don't know. That's it. Hello, Sophie. Sit down. Sit down. Sophie, where has my little girl gone, hmm? Because she was here not that long ago. I know it's hard. It's hard for all of us, but life has to go on. And all this sneaking around and bunking off school has got to stop. Now promise me it will stop. Look, why don't we have dinner tomorrow night? The three of us. I'll book a table somewhere. Hmm? I love you.
Sister's already gone. Peter, why are you doing this? I'm so glad your mother's not here to see it. Because she'd beg. She'd beg to have her little boy back. At least she died with some dignity. You selfish little shit. Where did you go last night? Sorry? When I came back in from ringing Peter, you had gone. And you didn't go home, did you? Jesus Christ, Sophie, anything could have happened. I nearly rang the bloody police. I was scared shitless. Now, you are not your brother, and I'm not about to let you start behaving like him. So it's got to stop, all right? Now, you're going to school today. I'm taking you in. No. Yes, Sophie. I've let the odd day slip recently, but you're pushing your luck and I'm putting a stop to it. So get upstairs and put your uniform on. No! Yes! I've given you the benefit of the doubt, but now it's starting to wear thin. So get upstairs and get dressed now! Okay. I'm sorry, darling. I didn't mean to shout. Come on, Sophie. It's not all doom and gloom, you know. Sophie. Sophie! Sophie! Sophie!